Hello my friends and channel subscribers, Greg here from Brisbane, Australia with another uncut, unedited, no bull video. Today I'm coming back to my video about a SATA heat pump dryer. People had a couple of questions and we start with the simple features or tips and tricks how to use it, whether we use uh, the top container for emptying the water or how to plumb it. While it's easy to plumb it back to the, your drainage with the washing machine, there's a couple of um, tricky bits to observe and make sure they're done well. But let's start from the top. Just to remind you, the difference between heat pump dryer and conventional tumble dryer, that instead of dispersing that moisture into the air and fogging up the room, um, heat pump dryer store water in a big container which is handy and convenient until you realize you may spend five more minutes to plumb your dryer into the drain of the washing machine and never empty the container again so let's slide it back in and I gently try to turn around the heat pump dryer and show how I've done it and um, Mention a couple of tips, tips and tricks. By the way, sorry about the whole setup. The washing is going. It's a nice rainy day in Brisbane and couldn't be any better day to shoot video about heat pump dryer because after washing is finished, I'll be drying my washing soon. So let's start straight about drainage. I try to reverse the, the dryer and show you what I've done. Sorry about video, I'm using uh, camera and selfie stick, I try to come as close as possible to what I'm trying to video so you understand what I'm talking about. Actually what I'll do, I'll switch the will be easier. Now, the whole drainage system is right here and by default that, that pipe there would be mounted on here so what you need to do is take pliers and unmount this pipe in the middle from here and in the middle it's just a little hook or place to mount it so you mount it there and where the pipe leads that pipe leads all the way to the top container now in a kit with a dryer you have a pipe that basically you can mount later on and go all the way to the drainer and as you can see that's my washing machine drainer and I placed just you know if it doesn't fit because it was nice and neat here with the attachment so if it doesn't fit just remove the attachment and mount um, that pipe under and it will drain all the way in and that pipe should go all the way up because it's designed to go up and then come down and plumb it and put it back onto that outlet where you taken the previous one from. Mind you, as you can see, that plastic that attaches it to um, dryer is designed to come out. So if it pops out, be gentle with it, but it's easier to work with it when it's out. Don't pull it too far because you can pull the cable, or not cable, but pipe from the compressor itself. So, see how one side is connected to go up. The other side inside the dryer, it goes straight into mechanism that drains the water from your drying. So, just recap, you're taking that pipe that was here before and mount it in the middle. You take pipe that uh, came drain pipe that came with your kit, mount it here, plumb it all the way up, hook it here, bring it down, and then back to um, drain where you're draining your washing machine. I think it's nice and easy and will help you not ever empty the dryer because let's say one less chore in life is better for us. Now, the dryer is here, and again, uh, what I'll do, I'll probably create another separate video about how I'm starting up and how I'm using it. It's straightforward, but um, 
reminder, it is very important to empty your linen filters. And the reason is that because the heat pump dryers, they're not your conventional um, tumble dryers. The tumble dryer have uh, heating elements and it blows air constantly. There's no system to clog. Uh, yes, there are filters, but they're just protecting your internal what's it, heating elements of the dryer from the washing so it won't catch fire. With the heat pump dryer it's a bit different. If you don't empty your linen filters, it will clog. It, it looks like inside it looks like air conditioner and that heat sink or radiator has a very fine fins. It is really important to filter well all the residue before it hits the filter and I'll show the filter in a second. Uh, I'm not sure that, but the mechanism inside. So first filter is inside the uh, tumbling chamber and we open it up, it looks like that and it will fill up with the uh, uh, dust and just open and it should unfold easily. Hold on. Yep, so it opens like that and then you scoop everything out of it, put it in the rubbish bin and close it again and slide it back in. So this filter will be full um, after every um, which way it goes. This filter will be full after each um, operation. The filter that they recommend to clean once a while uh, and warning will come up. Filter here. And I recommend to filter it to clean it every time because this filter is the most important. So to open this filter, you bring down two of those levers and the door opens. Oh, sorry. Let's angle the camera well. So again, there's a two levers on top. We're pulling them down, open it up, and there's a chamber with the filter. There's two hooks, one comes up and one comes down and then you withdraw the whole section here and that looks like this right let me have a show you so see it's like an air conditioner or car there's a little radiator or heat sink right and those fins are very precious if they get in clogged your dryer will stop working and it probably won't be fixed under warranty because that's your fault for not cleaning it uh, so what getting clogged? Because it's getting sucked from outside to inside, the area that getting clogged will be inside here. So what I will do after every washing, I've got little vacuum cleaner, uh, like handheld vacuum cleaner, and vacuum the surface. First you can remove what's inside, and then vacuum it. And you know, when it looks all good, just slide it back in, just like that. Don't forget to close the attachment. I know you can wait for a month until it's um, all filled up and the warning light comes up, but um, if I'd be you, um, the dryer is drying faster and will be happier if you empty the filter all the time. Now, there's nothing else to say uh, besides normal operation, which I show uh, later on in the next video, but you know, the two most important things to drain your water and to clean your filters. Otherwise, it's amazing dryer, will serve you a long time if you look after it. Hope this video was helpful. If you like my channel, please subscribe to it. If you would like to see any other videos, comment down below or if you have any questions about this video and I'll try to create other videos for that or other subject. Thank you so much for watching. Greg from Brisbane, Australia.